Just as the group was poised to perform in front of a live audience in Kentucky, 46-year-old Toby Willis was arrested. He was charged with child rape dating back 15 years. Overnight, all public appearances were canceled. Mom Brenda and the 12 kids withdrew from the public eye until now, six months after their father was sentenced to 40 years in jail. Six of the 12 Willis siblings are opening up exclusively to Daily Mail's Laura Collins for the first time, with the shocking revelation that Toby's victims were his own daughters, sexually abused by their father. I was going to ask you what had stopped you from, from speaking up. What held you back? I didn't speak up is because it was like, this is so insane and crazy. Like, who's going to believe me? How are people going to deal with this? What held me back from talking, I mean, all through the years and growing up was the unknown. I didn't know what was going to happen. And everything that I could have had as a kid could have been taken away instantly. I had no idea what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to have my mom and my siblings there for me. Well, I think we all held a black box in our hearts of memories, regrets, um, fears, and uh, we hid them pretty deep. The horrific stories of rape first came to light when their oldest sister, Jessica, told her story to a family counselor who reported the abuse to police. The first time I was able to tell my story was after one of my sisters told her story. And it was like, wow, oh my gosh, I'm not the only one. Looking back, the older girls now wish they'd been able to speak up before their father had a chance to prey on their younger sisters. The truth is all of us at different times could have, you know, um, spoken up and said, you know, this is my truth. This is what, you know, I'm experiencing. The boys feel guilt, wishing they'd known and could have somehow rescued their family. It's been hard for me and I hear stories around me and I, I look at those people and I'm like, I can't even fathom the pain you're going through. Telling the truth about the abuse led to a creative breakthrough and a new song called Speak My Mind. If I speak my mind. People don't always have the courage to speak out, ask for help, or know what to do in a situation, so that's what this song talks about. Is there some sense of relief that you're now kind of allowed to feel all the feelings that perhaps you kind of pushed down for years? Yes, to just say, you know what, this is, this is the truth. There's gotta be more courage I can find. Our exclusive interview with the Willis family continues tomorrow. How the abuse they suffered transformed their lives in music and what they would say to their father now. That's tomorrow, only on Daily Mail TV. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I What's the significance of the version of um, Ring of Fire that you played? That was the first time that we had played together since our last show, the night that our dad was arrested. And so that was a big, significant thing for us. That ring of fire. Oh my goodness, just like that intensity, it, it uh, very much spoke to us. An intensity they can hardly speak about. But court documents reveal the abuse started with their oldest sister in 2002. She was just nine years old. It all ended with their father's arrest in 2016. Though everything had been turned upside down, actually, it was reassuring in so many ways because the truth was being spoken and things were being handled the way they should. How has all of this affected your relationship with your mother? I knew that if I told my mom things that I was experiencing, she would stick up for me, she would fight for me, and she would, you know, defend me. But I, I was scared. If your father was watching this and watching you all speak, is there anything that you would say to him? I would, <laughs> I would say no. I think our actions speak way louder than our words. It's a very liberating thing to say, you're not going to affect me anymore. You don't have that power over me. Is that door closed to your father ever having a sort of a, a part in your life, or is it something that might be reestablished? There's no question. I mean, the door is definitely closed on him ever being a father figure. That door is definitely very firmly closed.
But a new door is opening as the Willis family prepares for a tour in March with new music and a new sense of hope. Not only are we healing, but we want to reach out to other people to help them. That's where this story is going. And then also as a family, that we don't have to be defined by one person or by one thing. Jeanette has actually written a song that is exactly from that point that, you know, things happened, but I choose to view myself as a survivor, to go forward and to live a beautiful life after all of this. And certainly our thoughts and prayers go out to the Willis family during this very, very difficult time. Hey everybody, we are the Willis Clan, and here is your 2018 Dublin, Ohio Irish Festival lineup. Yeah.